on. But we need to be real. Uh, Jesus is not prolific enough. He's not literate enough. So we need someone that can talk the ball into the net better than Jesus. I'm not saying drop Jesus. I'm not saying don't play him. I'm just saying we need somebody better or somebody that can compete and bring out the best in Jesus. I'm not saying he's been complacent. No. I'm just saying we're going to play in the Champions League next season. Liverpool is going to come back stronger in the English Premiership. Newcastle, Hotspur, regardless of what you call Tottenham Hotspur, they will come back next season trying to fight. Chelsea, uh, Newcastle. So the competition is stiff. We cannot afford to relax on our laurels. We need to continue to improve. We need to capitalize on the momentum. Some of you say, but the last few games has been poor. Must I explain everything? Apply context. What I mean momentum of, of this season, the whole season, not just the last few five games. I agree, the last few five games, results have been sketchy, results have not been impressive. I get it. But look at the season as a whole, Asna has been impressive and we need to build on that. We don't need to rip off the team. We just need quality. At least four quality addition will take us not to the next level to make sure Arsenal remain and be able to compete with the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, small future. Chelsea has been ass this season. So the season is winding down and um, we need to start preparing for next season. Now, it's looking like we might not... No, I don't think we... It will take a miracle for us not to win the league. Manchester City have the momentum. They have the experience. So to take a monumental collapse for us to have, have, actually have a modicum of chance to win the league. So that's aside. Uh, we're hearing speculations regarding us not preparing for the summer, which is a which is which is being proactive, and I like and I love to hear things like that. So there's a position we're not talking about. I think Jesus has been fantastic. Some of you argue fantastic, yeah, in context, right? I think uh, he has been good. The dynamism he has shown, he has helped our attacking for real in, in front. See, when Jesus plays, he might not give us the goal count we want which I think is goal return, is not fantastic. But in terms of what he generates for the forward line, draws away players, dribbling, creating chances for himself and for the likes of Saka Martinelli, we saw how Martinelli suffered when Jesus was out of the team. So you cannot just write off his contribution. But we need to be real. Uh, Jesus is not prolific enough. He's not little enough. So we need someone that can talk the ball into the net better than Jesus. I'm not saying drop Jesus. I'm not saying don't play him. I'm just saying we need somebody better or somebody that can compete and bring out the best in Jesus. I'm not saying he's being complacent. No. I'm just saying we're going to play in the Champions League next season. Liverpool is going to come back stronger in the English Premiership. Newcastle, Hotspur, regardless of what you call Tottenham Hotspur, they will come back next season trying to fight. Chelsea, uh, Newcastle, so the competition is stiff. We cannot afford to relax on our laurels. We need to continue to improve. We need to capitalize on the momentum. Some of you say, but the last few games has been poor. Must I explain everything? Applying context. What I mean momentum of, of this season, the whole season, not just the last few five games. I agree. The last few five games, results have been sketchy. Results have not been impressive. I get it. But look at the season as a whole. Arsenal has been impressive, and we need to build on that. We don't need to rip off the team. We just need quality. At least four quality addition will take us not to the next level to make sure Arsenal remain and be able to compete with the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea. Some of you, Chelsea. Chelsea has been ass this season, but do not be deceived. They are on the brinks of appointing Potocino, and they have decent players. And Chelsea will not be as terrible the way they were terrible this season. So. We can banter them, but really, see, we have to be real. Even in banter, we got to be real. Chelsea will be a formidable team next season. Newcastle, uh, Manchester United, Manchester City, uh, Spurs. So even likes of Brighton, the, the mid-table teams, they are not relaxing on their, uh, on their laurel. We just heard of Brighton just sign a striker, albeit from the Champions League, but he's a very good striker. They're about to sign a, a right back. These teams are beefing up their teams. So as I need to make sure we're going to improve the teams, uh, improve our play, our play, our playing staff. We have to, or else we'll be caught up with. So when it comes to the striking and the goal ratios, we need to bring in 
replenishment. I'm not saying throw Jesus away. He needs a, a competition or somebody better than him. Jesus can play in the second position too. He did at Man City. The reason Man City sold it was because it was not prolific enough. And I, I was shared optimism that at last night he would get more game time. Maybe that could aid him to be a prolific striker. Jesus is relatively young. He's just getting to his prime. He can still improve. I'm not saying Jesus is done and dusted in terms of progression. No, I'm not saying that. But we cannot bet on him totally. We need to bring in another striker that is better than Jesus, better than Inketia and Flobarugun. See, I'm not in that camp of people saying bring in Flobarugun Balogun and reintegrate him to the team. To do what? He's not as good as Inketia. And Inketia is not even good enough for where we are going. I'm not saying Inketia is terrible. I would I would never say that, but for the trajectory and progress we're seeking on our and our aspirations to win it, the league and maybe the Champions League, following Barogo and Ketia will not take us to those places. I'm sorry, I understand some of you say I'm retracting on my word on Ketia. I'm sorry, yes, I got it wrong. I was thinking Ketia can improve with more game time. I, I think I was thinking he can improve when he plays more constantly in the first team. I've seen it. I'm sorry, in Ketia is on that player. Now, maybe at a mid-table club, he'll be fantastic. But at the top echelon, at the top tier club in Ketia, that is not where he belongs. Like I said, I can I can raise my hand and say I got it wrong. I have a follow Balogun for me. I, see, you are getting too ambitious and too optimistic about Fole Balogun. It, in France, he can be that prolific and fantastic, but we know the French league is not as good as the English Premiership. It's not as competitive, competitive as the English Premiership. So let's stop waffling and let's stick to the facts. We need a better striker. We need a striker that competes with Jesus. We need a different profile of striker, a bit of height, pace, physicality, that actually may be a substitute for Jesus sometimes. Now, I'm tired of saying one will take off Jesus. We are bringing in Keita. Now, Trussard is fantastic. He can play the Martin role. He can play in the, in the first line as Jesus position. But can we improve on that? I think so. Especially when we play in the Champions League and play in the league. We we'll play on Saturdays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we need to make sure we get the quality right. Not just quantity. We need top, top quality. Now, I do not have any name on top of my head right now regarding the strike position, but that is Edu's job. Even though in the next few weeks, I'll get some names together. We can talk about it, but I'm sure Edu should be doing his job, doing his scouting for us to get a striker to compete with Jesus or even better than Jesus. That can put Jesus on the bench or push Jesus to get better. Jesus for me is aesthetically pleasing. He's a good dribbler. He can open space for likes of Saka, Martinelli. He draws defenders out. He can press from the front, but his goal return is not good enough for the kind of progress we want. That's just my opinion. If you disagree with me, let me know respectfully in the comment section. I just think Jesus' goal return is not what will take us to where we want to be. I'm not saying it will drop us out of the top four. For us to win the league, we need a little deadly finisher as a striker. We need one. Or we need someone that if Jesus is not playing, can adequately fill up that position and still score goals without all having a drop in quality. For me, Keita is a drop in quality. He might have his, his form time, but overall, there's a drop and a gap in quality. So let me know in the comment section. And if you like my content and you're not subscribed, please do me a favor by subscribing. Don't forget to stick a like on the video. Very, very important for the growth of the channel and the algorithm. And do not forget to turn on your notification bells for YouTube be tripping sometimes and i'll see you guys on the next one